I actually grew up in Cork Harbour. My father had me swimming before I could walk. The Corkonians, they often call it the real capital of Ireland. And it's also referred to as the Rebel County. I lived and walked in Cork Harbour all my life, really. The port that we visit for Cork is Cove, or otherwise known as Cobb H. It's the second largest natural harbour in the world after Sydney. I've had over 43, 44 years involved in it, and I, hand in my heart, I've been paid for my hobby for those 43, 44 years. Blarney Castle, probably one of my favourite tourist destinations in the whole island, actually. I love Blarney Castle. The current stone castle dates back to about the 15th century. The main attraction in the castle is obviously the Blarney Stone which is said to bestow the gift of eloquent speech to those who kiss it. You have to basically climb 120 steps in a spiral staircase. When you get up to the top, you have to hang upside down to kiss the stone. So you're lying down on your back, upside down, and there's a local cork man holding you at your waist. Quite an interesting experience. You only live once. I don't think there's many people overseas that haven't heard about Killarney. It's definitely somewhere that you can just go and lose yourself in the magnificent beauty. Smucker's House, it's a 19th century manor home. It's located in the grounds of the Killarney National Park and probably the number one attraction that Killarney has to offer. St Finbar's Cathedral is a French Gothic cathedral. It's located in Cork City. It's very well known actually for its beautiful stained glass windows. Sale is a really cute little fishing village. Constantly wins the tidy towns of the year, and not surprisingly so. It's full of 18th century houses, colourful houses. It has a lovely little marina there at the private yachts and the little small fishing boats. Also, there's Charles Fort. It's the big fort up at the entrance to the harbour. Built, obviously, all those years ago to protect the locals from invasions. You're never too far from the sea, so you've got seascapes, you've got riverscapes. There's a lovely feeling to these little villages down in Cork. The people are so, so friendly. The House of Waterford Crystal was opened in June 2010. They have an extensive gallery there, still the biggest gallery in the world to sell Waterford Crystal. It's synonymous with Ireland. The Rock of Cashel is sitting on a limestone hill. It's actually quite grand. You can see it as you're approaching from all angles. Probably the best example of our great archaeology is housed there and also some great artefacts. In Dublin we drink Guinness, but in Cork we've got Murphy's and it's ten times better than Guinness. The pub culture is fantastic. The pub was the town hall, the pub was the meeting place, the pub was where, and still is today, the social fabric. We'd go into a pub and they'd have their little traditional band and their two or three Irish dancers, whether they were young kids, up to teenagers. So it's always something that we've grown up with. Oliver Plunkett Street was voted the best street in Great Britain and Ireland for shopping, fun, life, and it's about a mile long. The reason why we all get out of bed is to make sure that these people come here and enjoy themselves and then they might come back.